Hi, I'm Tony, and welcome to Poppy's Cucina. Hi, everybody. Today we're making something. We're making the ultimate summer dessert. Ah, oh, so delicious, creamy, fruity. It has everything. It's so good. We're making a mascarpone fruit tart, but we're doing a rainbow of fruit on top. You know, it's Pride Month, so why not? <laughs> but that mascarpone custard is everything. It is so good. And you don't have to get creative with the fruit like I do. Just throw some fruit on top and call it a day. But everybody's going to love it because it's so good. All right, so if you want a full copy of today's recipe, go to our Facebook page at Poppy's Cucina or under the community tab right here on YouTube. Click on that and you're going to find the recipe there. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is going to pre-bake our pie crust. So here I have a regular pie crust that I bought. You could absolutely make your own. Yes, of course. Homemade always tastes better, but eh. <laughs> um, So I punched a bunch of holes in it with a fork. Then we're going to cover it with some foil, add some pie weights, and then we're going to bake it for about 15 minutes just till it gets nice golden brown. All right, so into the oven it's going to go. So while we're waiting for our pie crust to cook, in a small bowl, you're going to add your 8 ounces of mascarpone, half a cup of powdered sugar, along with a zest of one lemon. Now we're going to cream this all together. Just like that. So next, in a sauce pot, you're going to um, add 2 cups of heavy cream, along with 2 teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And then you're going to bring this to just about a boil. You don't want it to boil because it's going to boil over, make a big mess, burn, and your house is going to smell for days. <laughs> All right, so you want to keep an eye on it, but you want to give it to a really high simmer, almost boil. And while you're waiting for your cream to come to an almost boil, in a medium-sized bowl, you're going to add one and a half cups of granulated sugar, a third of a cup of cornstarch, along with six egg yolks. Now we're going to whisk this together until it's all smooth. Just like that. And now here I have my cream that was to a near boil. Now we're gonna temper our eggs with the cream. You're only gonna add about a half a cup at a time and then whisk it in. Cause if you try to add the whole thing, it's just gonna cook the eggs and it's gonna make a big mess. Cause you don't want scrambled eggs, you want a custard. All right, so we're just gonna keep whisking this in till both are fully incorporated. Just like that. Now we're gonna pour this mixture back into the sauce pot and then back onto the stove it's gonna go. Oh, missed a couple little pieces of eggs. <laughs> So back to the stove we go. So now we're going to cook the egg cream mixture over medium to medium high heat. You want to make sure you whisk this constantly because if you don't, the eggs are going to stick to the bottom, to the sides. You can have scrambled eggs again in your custard and you don't want that. All right, but you're going to see once it comes to the simmer state, it's really going to start thickening up on you. All right, it happens quick. Just make sure you're constantly whisking. It only takes about five minutes tops. So after about three minutes, you'll see it's already starting to thicken up. See, nice thick custard. But you're gonna see in about a minute or so, it's really gonna congeal. But this happens quick. So you gotta make sure that you don't overdo it because or else you're gonna burn it. All right, so you got about a minute to go. And just like that, it reduced in volume by half and look how much thicker it got, see? All right, so you're ready to take it off the heat. And once you take it off the heat, make sure you continue to mix it because the pan is still hot, so it's still cooking. <laughs> so you don't want it to burn. All right, so once the smoke is clear, almost, we're ready to add that beautiful mascarpone cream that we made earlier. I'm gonna throw this right inside. Mm, and whisk this right in. See, this mascarpone is going to add such a level of richness to this custard. It's going to take it over the top. Right. Make sure you don't leave any lumps of the mascarpone. Isn't that a beautiful cream? Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Alright, so we're going to keep whisking in the mascarpone. Just like that. And now we're going to pour this gorgeous custard right into the pie crust. Oh, look how much is in there. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> yes. So now we're going to cover this and we're going to allow this to cool in the fridge for at least two hours. And you're going to see how beautiful and thick this custard is going to become. 
Oh, it's gonna be amazing. All right, so make sure you cover it. You can put the plastic right on top of the custard itself so this way it doesn't make a crust on there. All right, so I'll see this in a couple of hours. All right, so while we're waiting for the custard to cool, I'm gonna start prepping some fruit. Boy, did I buy a lot of fruit. <laughs> it's always best to have more than less, you know, because you don't have to run out back out to go to the store. And whatever I have left over, I'll just make it into a giant fruit salad. Yum! I'm gonna have some work to do. <laughs> all right, the fruit's all cut. Start building that pie. <gasps> all right, so you're starting to see the rainbow thing? All right. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with some strawberries around the perimeter. And then some raspberries. Next up, the mandarins. Where should we do these? Stand these up. Like that. Next, we got the pineapple. So we'll just do it like this. All around. I love fruit piled high on a beautiful tart. So good. So we're going to continue with that. Then we got our kiwi. How fun is this? <laughs> like you're creating an edible work of art. So pretty. Yeah, we're going to continue with that. Then we're going to fill the middle with some blueberries. Where's that one going? And then we're going to find the most purple grape we can, put that right in the middle. And look at that! Is that not gorgeous? All right, there's a couple little holes here, so you can go back and refill in some of the um, some of the holes with the fruit before we put on that glaze. The last thing we're, we're going to do is, in a small saucepan, we're going to add our apricot preserves with a couple tablespoons of water. I'm just going to bring this to a simmer, just till it has a nice, loose... Um, consistency because this is what we're gonna brush on top of the cake uh, of the pie and this is gonna do a couple things it definitely adds a little sweetness to the top it also gives that beautiful shine and glaze to the uh, tart it makes it beautiful All right. so just a quick simmer and that's it and now we're gonna brush that glaze right on top and you can see it adds a beautiful shine and like I said it'll add a little sweetness to this too just get it right on there. Hopefully the, your fruit will be a little bit more cooperative than mine. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to continue to brush this. And just like that, it's all done. It's almost too pretty to eat. <laughs> but who am I kidding? It's time to give it a try. Yum! One up to eat. Mmm. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. You can't buy a fruit tart this good. Mmm. That mascot put it custard with the vanilla and the lemon. Oh, just so luscious and creamy. Top with all that beautiful fruit. <gasps> phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. You have to try this dessert. If you do, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks. Um, Mm, so mm. I bet a cocktail would go good right about now. I sure it's cocktail time. Yeah. All right. So for today's rainbow punch, rainbow flavors, that is, <laughs> we're going to start with one and a half ounces of pineapple juice, one and a half ounces of strawberry daiquiri mix. Oh. Need to go buy more strawberry daiquiri mix. <laughs> Half ounce of Grand Marnier. One ounce of peach snaps. One and a half ounces of rum. And then, because I love putting it in everything, half an ounce of limoncello. All right, so we're gonna give this a nice shaky shaky. And we pour. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's very orangey. <laughs> and for fun, let's throw in a raspberry. Yay, for garnish. Let's give it a try.
Cheers. Oh, that's just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Mm. Mm. All those fruit flavors in there. Mm. With that nice little rum burn. <laughs> I guess it's, it's less than the vodka burn. <laughs> oh, but it's so good. It's so refreshing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So if you tried this drink, drink recipe, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.